Oceanographic buoys enable scientists to study the sea, help meteorologists predict weather, and rescue teams better define a search area. The top part of the buoy houses instrumentation that tracks temperature, surface currents, and other conditions. Its antenna transmits the data via satellite to a base station. This model has a ball-shaped surface float with a tether cable connecting a long fabric tube called a drogue. The drogue detects water movement several yards below the surface. The component that connects the surface flow to the cable is called the stress relief. The factory makes this part in a mold, casting 10 at a time. Workers inject liquid urethane into the mold cavities. It's the same material from which inline skate wheels are made. After three hours, they extract the castings, which then cure for a full week. The surface float contains a barometer sensor that collects air pressure data, as well as a temperature sensor and a locating system. A 13.5 volt battery pack powers all these instruments. Workers build it by arranging 36 standard D-cell batteries. Using nickel strips, they make pairs, linking a negative end to a positive end. Then they spot weld the strips, creating circuit pathways along which electricity will flow. Next, they immobilize the batteries by filling the spaces between them with hot glue. Then they weld the final connections and solder on the leads that'll connect the battery pack to the instrumentation. Now they apply special insulating paper to prevent the battery pack from shorting, should it come into contact with a metal object. A wide band of electrical tape safely seals this 13-pound battery pack. The nylon polypropylene drogue is too lightweight to hang vertically in the water, so it needs something to weigh it down. That something is a heavy plastic hoop. They make the hoop by blowing sand into a plastic garden hose. The sand makes it heavy. After capping the hose, they insert it in a pocket at the bottom of the drogue. So now the drogue, all 26 feet of it, will dangle straight down into the water. Now for that stress relief they molded earlier on. It attaches underneath the bottom half of the surface float. Inside the bottom half, they install the battery pack then a control board, a transmitter, and an antenna. The surface float is made of ABS plastic. The top surface coated for UV protection because it will be exposed to direct sunlight. They attach one end of the tether cable to the stress relief and the other end to the drogue. They reinforce the connection with epoxy. This type of buoy is designed to monitor only the top yard of water, so it doesn't have a long vertical drogue like the other one. What it does have is a parachute, because it's designed to be dropped by aircraft in a search and rescue operation to mark the location of an incident. As the demonstration shows, the buoy opens on impact. All the components are spring-loaded, floats made of foam, drogues around a central cylinder housing the instrumentation, and on top, an antenna. The buoy packaging is water-soluble and biodegradable, so over time it simply disintegrates. No need to retrieve them.